Hi there, this is John Alexo and today I'm going to review a tool called IE Detector Pro. If you don't know, this is um, this is basically a tool that helps you identify if a piece of content that you have was written by artificial intelligence. And in this video, I'm going to test this tool to see whether or not if it's effective in detecting that. And so you can get an idea if this is a tool that you want to get. And for this, I'm going to get content from ChatGPT and I'm going to use the last model for this because it provides better content and I'm going to use several prompts and then test it on IE Detector Pro. And also I'm going to test the content that I get from Gemini because these are two of the most popular platforms that people are using to get their content written. And if you want to test this tool, you get a link on the description from this video. You can click on it and once you go to their website, you can start for free, as you can see. Just click on this button. Okay, so now we are in the back end of IE Dictator Pro. This is how it looks like. It's pretty simplistic, doesn't have many options. It's easy for you to use. And basically, you have everything that you need. Uh, so this is the dashboard area. You can see the latest reports that I did are basically the the content that I analyzed to see if it was written by artificial intelligence. Uh, once I go below, you can see that I have a few options over here. The one that I I like the most is this one called Tools because it provides you several tools that you can use for your website, such, a, such as HTML mag magnifier, CSS magnifier. You have several options that are quite useful, such as a password generator. That's pretty cool. Uh, a test cleaner, word counter to count the, the number of words a piece of content that has. So you have some tools over here that you can use and try them. But let's go immediately and jump to the most important thing, okay? Let's not waste time over here. Let's go to reports. This is why you want to get this tool, okay? This is where you can analyze your content and see if it was written by a human being or not, okay? So let's go to ChatGPT. And I have over here a few prompts that I want to test. This one over here. This is a pretty simple prompt. Nothing special over here. And a lot of, you know, a lot of people that are starting with these tools, this is the kind of prompt that they will use. And the content that they will get is not that ideal. Uh, because a lot of people won't waste much time um, learning more complex prompts. Okay, so let's use this one. Okay, so now we have a, a blog post with about 1,000 words written. And I'm not going to read this, but you can see this was using a very basic prompt. And actually, it still hasn't completed. So let's grab this uh, piece of content, copy it. Let's go over here and uh, check and see what we get. Okay, it's done. We have this piece of content over here. Uh, you can click on it to get a more in-depth report. You can see where it has detected that it was possibly possibly written by artificial intelligence. You can see over here, and you can go right below suspicious over here, uh, right below, and you can even see over here the tonal analysis and. It basically gives you an idea of how usually the tone that is used by humans in contrast to the artificial intelligence, you know. And you can go also below and get even more information such as complex words, flesh uh, ease, paragraphs, syllabus, and all of that kind of information. But you can see that it pretty much detected that this was written by artificial intelligence. Now let's do another test, use the same prompt, but in this case in Gemini and see what we get. Okay, so we have a, a piece of content over here written by Gemini. It's not complete, but it doesn't matter. We already have over here enough content to test. Okay, so let's grab on this and let's test over here. Let's see what we get. 
and you can see that it pretty much detected that it was written by artificial intelligence over here okay okay now let's do another test on chat gpt but with a more complex prompt and let's see uh what we get when it comes to the analysis so this is a more complex prompt it should provide better content Okay, so we have a, a nice piece of content written using this prompt. Let's grab on it and check it over here and see uh, what we get. Okay, pretty much detected that it still was written by artificial intelligence. Now let's do the same with Gemini and see what we get over here. See if we get better content with Gemini. Okay, so we have a nice piece over here. Let's grab it, grab it and test it. And once again, it detected that it was written by artificial intelligence. So it seems like this tool is easily catching content that was written by artificial intelligence. And it even says the reasons why it considers that it was written by artificial intelligence. Okay, and lastly, I have a piece of content that I fully wrote over here on Grammarly, and I'm going to copy it and paste it and see if this still says that it was written by artificial intelligence or not. And as you can see, it actually doesn't, it says that it was a, a human that wrote this content over here. It, it actually got pretty well that done okay so as you can see through the analysis that I did it seems to this tool seems to easily catch content that was written by artificial intelligence or not okay so I'm going to share with you my final thoughts about iDictator Pro as you can see from the testing that I did through this video and also the testing that I did prior to this video uh, this is, seems to be a pretty effective tool when it comes to catching content that was written by a robot. Even when I use more complex prompts, it still easily caught it. Okay, And that is something that I noticed with other similar tools on the market is when I start using more complex prompts on ChatGPT, they kind of start failing in detecting it has been written by a robot. That wasn't the case with iDetector Pro. Now, I always like to give a word of warning when it comes to using this type of tools is even though this you got a report saying that the content was written by a robot always put a grain of salt because this tool still are kind of flow when it comes to detecting that okay so if you want to test this tool and there's no better way for you to see if you like iDetector Pro or not just click on the link on the description from this video you are taken to their website and you can get started for free today. Also, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can receive on a weekly basis videos where I review uh, several tools related to artificial intelligence. That is all for now. Stay tuned with Jordan Alexa and bye.